The area's first ever Zambonis have arrived. If you're not familiar with what that is, Tammy Scardino tells us how a local hockey group says the deal to get them here was a perfect match. Thanks to these Zambonis, there will be a quality, clean place for people to skate and play hockey on this winter. Senator Diane Bilyeu is not only on the Hockey Association Board of Directors, she's also one of the first Pocatellians to take the ice smoothing machine for a test drive. It was, it was very different than, than driving either a tractor or a car. <laughs> I'm going, okay, where's the brake? Right behind her in the not as flashy Zamboni, Representative James Ruckty, who says he's behind this development 100%. This is a very family-oriented sport. Um, kids seem to enjoy it. Gives the kids a chance to interact with adults that they otherwise wouldn't have a chance to uh, work with. And so, um, you know, it's just a chance for all of us to have a positive experience here in the community. It all came together in this magical fashion where we found the Zambonis within our price range. And I think it's ironic that the main Zamboni, the one that runs the best, is already painted in ISU colors. It came orange and black with a tiger on it, like it was meant to be in this community. In Chubbuck, I'm Tammy Scardino for News Channel 6. John Young loves his hockey, that is for yeah. sure. Yeah. He says there's plenty of room in the league for more players, children, and adults. The group's also seeking donations in the form of skates so the public can use that rank a little bit more. See you back here tomorrow.